And looks like I'm done. Hi everyone, it's Gina. I'm gonna give give you guys a chance to I'm gonna give you all a couple of minutes to pop in. Don't forget to bring a pen as well as notebook so you can take some notes. But the um, the video is going to be recorded, so you'll be able to come back and watch it again at your convenience and, and take some more notes if you need to. Um, in my last live stream, a few people mentioned that they would be interested in hearing about you know a few essential oils and uh, how I work with essential oils. So I decided today, um, being Friday, I decided to call you know a whole new series like Oily Friday. I couldn't come up with another name. So if you have a more um, suitable name for our days where we work with essential oils, then please feel free to pop that in the chat and let me know, but I decided to just go ahead with Oily Fridays for today. I didn't come on this past Wednesday because I had to take my son to uh, a scheduled doctor appointment, so I apologize for that, but we will catch up again next week. I did record um, a part two of uh, a podcast episode called The Power of Words, so if you did not get a chance to listen to that, I recommend that you do. It is uh, posted on the Lupus page on Facebook. So if you didn't get a chance, go ahead and look and uh, check that out. And um, you'll, see my, you'll see the link for my podcast. Just go ahead and you can check out a few more, um, few more episodes on that as well. But for today, what we're going to talk about are um, a few essential oils, and I'm going to show you how to make a blend that I'm calling Show Your Skin Some Love. So each Friday from here on out, I'm going to go ahead and start a series. So on Tuesdays, you'll have Tea With Me. Wednesdays is still going to be Wisdom Wednesday. And then on Fridays, we'll have Oily Fridays. So today we're going to talk, we're going to make um, a little blend called show your skin some love and i went ahead and make made some early this morning and what i'm going to do is tell you the ingredients what the benefits of the ingredients are and then i will show you how you can work with this to create other self-care products so this what you're looking at is just the pure essential oils there are no carrier oils in here to thin it out these are pure essential oils but I'll show you how to work with this to make uh, a blend for your for your face, as well as some bath salts in addition to a sugar scrub, and even adding it to your lotion. So I'll tell you what's in here, and then I will show you how to make those other items as well. Please say hello as you pop in. I said that there. All right. So the ingredients in this blend. Like I said, these are pure essential oils here, but I'm gonna show you how to work with this. The ingredients in here are uh, sandalwood, lavender, helichrysum, chamomile, rosehip seed, geranium, geranium rose, rose essential oil, vanilla, and uh, myrrh. So those are the ingredients in here. Let me read them again, sandalwood, lavender, Helichrysum, chamomile, rose hip seed, geranium rose, rose, vanilla, myrrh, and I, I think I left one out. Oh, and lilac. Those are the, the ingredients or the essential oils that are in this blend that I'm showing you. I'm, I'm going to show you um, ways of working with this blend once you've created it, because like I said, that those are pure essential oils. You don't want to use it in its pure state like that, unless you're putting it into a diffuser. But um, I'll show you again. So let's talk a little bit about some of the benefits of these essential oils that are in there. So sandalwood, that's the first one I mentioned. Sandalwood is antiseptic. It helps to prevent acne softens your skin, and if you have any kind of hyperpigmentation, maybe you've been out in the sun quite a bit, it also helps with hyperpigmentation. 
Lavender is also in there. And these are all essential oils. So if I'm just saying the name, I'm not talking about the, the actual herb. It's um, These are the essential oils that we're talking about. So lavender is great if you have any kind of acne issues, if you have any kind of um, eczema issues, really dry skin. It also helps with fine lines and wrinkles and has it's very um, anti-inflammatory and it's also in my, my pain blend. So lavender, you hear me mention lavender essential oil quite a, in quite a few of the essential oil blends that I created. And lavender is also really good for pain. Lilac essential oil that's in here helps to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It also helps to reduce the sagginess in your skin. So if you have skin that kind of sags on the side, the lavender essential oil in here will, will help with the sagginess. It also helps to heal rashes. So if you have any kind of rash on your skin, the lilac essential oil will also help with that. Um, lilac essential oil has also been shown to heal scrapes really quickly because it's um, because of its antibacterial properties. Another essential oil in here um, is really, really powerful. It's called helichrysum. And the nickname for helichrysum is Immortel. And there's a reason why it got that, that nickname. But um, anyway, it helps to promote skin cell regeneration. It's anti-inflammatory, it's antimicrobial, has all of those properties, and it helps to prevent infection and also has been shown to help with wound healing. So that's why I always, anytime it comes to the skin, I always have helichrysum in my, my essential oil blends. Chamomile is also in here, the chamomile essential oil. If you drink chamomile tea, then you know what I'm talking about. The, this is the essential oil that I'm referring to here. Chamomile essential oil has been shown to help with scarring. So if you have any kind of scarring on your face, maybe, I know people who have um, the lupus rash, what's called the malar rash, sometimes it creates scarring. So if you have it, if you have that type of scarring, then the chamomile essential oil in this blend will also help with that. It also helps to fade spots, like if you have any kind of acne acne scarring, you know the spots that are left from that. It also helps to fade those spots. Um, it's anti-inflammatory. It's antiseptic. Um, it also helps to tighten pores. So if you notice that you have you know really large pores, then this will also help to tighten your pores. Rose hip seed oil is also in this blend and it helps to promote cell regeneration, helps with scarring. Um, it's loaded with vitamin A, also helps to soften your skin. If you have any kind of questions, just simply post them in the comment section. Geranium rose is also in here. It's a natural astringent, so it helps to tighten your skin and um, also helps with any kind of acne issues that you may have. Rose essential oil is in here and rose essential oil is one of the most expensive oils that you can buy. And the reason being, it takes about 242,000 rose petals to distill just five mils of rose. And this is, this is a five mil bottle that I'm holding up. So it takes about 242,000 rose petals to make just this amount of rose essential oil. Hence, why rose essential oil is so expensive. But uh, rose essential oil is loaded with antioxidants, and it's really great if you have any kind of dry skin. It's also loaded with vitamin A, vitamin C, and it's a uh, very anti-inflammatory. So it's also in my my pain blend. And we can talk about my um, my essential oil pain blend at a um, another Friday. Vanilla essential oil is also in here. And um, vanilla has been shown to be really good for fine lines and wrinkles, as well as for age spots. So this is um, going to be a perfect blend if you have any of those concerns. Calendula is going to be the carrier oil that I will be working with today. And I think I've shown you the calendula. This is an infused oil. So the, the carrier oil that I'll be working with is the calendula infused oil. And this is calendula infused in olive oil. You can also um, use coconut oil. You can use jojoba oil. The carrier oil is entirely up to you. All right, so 
for this particular blend, you can also add in, um, oh, I didn't, I forgot to mention myrrh. Myrrh essential oil is also in here. That is very anti-inflammatory. If you read the Bible, you know about myrrh. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh being the three gifts that were uh, presented to baby Jesus. So myrrh is in here. It's anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. It um, is often combined with frankincense to create an incense that, that's burned. And um, the myrrh essential oil is really good for oral health as well. So if you took just a couple drops and put it into some coconut oil and swished around in your mouth when you're oil pulling, then it, it will also help with the, any kind of oral issues that you may have. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple more examples um, of essential oils that you can add into this blend. If you have any kind of concerns with, um, with acne, you could also add in tea tree oil. It's not in this particular blend, but it is in my personal blend, which I'll show you here. And mine is going to look a little different because I have a few, a few different um, essential oils in mine. I also have tansy in here. There's tea tree oil in here. And there's also um, frankincense essential oils also in here, as well as turmeric. So there are a few in mine that are not in, in this one. This is, I guess you could say your base, you know, your basic, um, basic skin moisturizer. Okay. And then if you wanted to really kick it up a notch, you could add in things like frankincense, tea tree, turmeric. If you have any kind of um, issues with inflammation on your skin, then frankincense and turmeric would be two great additions to that. All right. So. Those are some of the benefits of the those essential oils. Now, there are a host of other benefits to these essential oils, but I, I'm only giving you the ones for the skin, since this particular blend is what you're going to be using for either your face or, you know, overall. All right, so what can you do with that blend? I'm going to show you how to make, um, let me find it here. I'm going to show you how to make a sugar scrub like I have here, this is with brown sugar, some, um, there's olive oil in here, brown sugar, and the, um, the essential oil blend. So I'll show you how to make this. It's really, really easy. Then I'll also show you how to make a bath salt that you can soak in using the same blend. In addition to making, in addition to adding it to your lotion, so there are many, many ways that you can work with this. Okay. The first way, and this is probably the easiest way, is to simply make, uh, let me open this up so you can see. This is the one I use on my skin. This is my personal one. It is, it's in a roller ball. And inside, I also have some calendula in addition to, um, I think, a a piece of patchouli is also in here. So it is in a roller ball. Just make sure you can see it. So it just simply rolls all over my face and then I massage it in. So that is one way to use it. And all you do, I'm going to show you one here. This was a bottle that a friend of mine gave to me and it has some, uh, let me bring it here. It has some um, rose quartz crystals inside. And, you know, rose quartz is supposed to be the um, symbolic of, of love. So what you can do is you take about 10 drops of the, um, the, this is the pure blend. I'll drop it into here. And then I will simply add some carrier oil to dilute it. You don't want to use pure essential oils on your skin because it could burn. So the, the calendula will be my carrier oil. So let me just go ahead and show you how easy this is to do. So all I'm going to do this again is um, make sure I bring it here. This is a roller ball as well, and it pops out very easily. Let me go ahead and just pop it out. Pops out very easily. And I have, let me just grab this. This is a dropper. All I need is just this dropper. I'll take, let's say maybe 10 to 15 drops. Essential oils are very concentrated. 
So all I'm going to do is just take and uh, I will simply just drop it in here. That's about 15 to 20 drops. Simply drop it in and then I will take the calendula. This is the carrier oil. This is the this is olive oil that's infused um calendula infused olive oil so then what i'll do is i'll simply take and try to show you all at the same time i'm going to simply collect some of the calendula infused oil and i will fill it up right in just a little bit more and then i just pop the cover back on Give that a shake. And then what I have now is a blend that I can use on my face. So it's been diluted and everything. I can simply use that on my skin. So let me put that to the side. There's the cover. I'll go ahead and put the cover back on this. And then what I'll do now is I'm going to show you how to make some bath salts using the same same blend here. So we just made one for the face. Now I'm going to show you how to make some bath salts. Place that there. So what I have here is a glass container. I have some Epsom salts. So what, to make the bath salts, you need maybe a cup of Epsom salts, which I have, which I have here. So you need maybe a cup of Epsom salts, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of eyeball it. I've made this quite a bit, so I'm just gonna eyeball that. All right, and then. I'm going to add in some pink Himalayan salt, maybe about a, a half a cup. Now you can put in more or less, it's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in about a half a cup of pink Himalayan salt. That's about a half a cup. I like to add in some avocado oil and this is in powdered form so I'm going to go ahead and grab some let me set this down for a moment I have some measuring spoons here so I'm going to put in maybe two tablespoons and it is a powder It is in powdered form. So I'm going to put in, actually, that, yeah, two tablespoons that should do it. And uh, so here you have a cup of Epsom salts. And then I have about a half a cup of the pink Himalayan salts plus some of the avocado oil in powdered form and then what I do now let me grab the dropper again and all I'm going to do is take about maybe 15 drops 15 to 20 drops of the pure essential oil and I'm going to mix it in with the set that down 
So this is about a half a dropper. About a half a dropper. So I'm going to go ahead and just add that in. We set that down again. And I love to add in actual herbs into mine. So I'm going to I'm going to add in some of the calendula flowers, dried calendula flowers. Let me just grab a few, show you what that looks like. And I'm going to add some in. I'm going to show you the, the mixture in a minute. Let me just add some of that in. And I'm also going to add in some dried rose petals. So let me go and add a few of those in. And I'm going to go ahead and close this bottle back before I spill it. So, so far, this is the second item that we've made and we still have quite a bit left. So here we go. There's the bowl. Here you have some avocado oil in powdered form. Then we have some pink Himalayan salt. You can see the rose petals and the calendula flowers. And then you also have, there's about a cup of Epsom salts. So all I'm going to do now is simply get a spoon. And if you want to just... Make sure to stir everything together. Bring up any kind of lumps that you may have in there. And just really get the essential oils mixed in. Make sure that you can see. We just go ahead and get some of these lumps removed. I had a different camera position so I could show show you exactly. Let's bring it up here a little bit. So you can see once you have it all, you just keep stirring, get all of the essential oils all mixed in. Let me see if I can show you what that looks like. All right, so you can see some of the rose petals, the calendula. So now it's all blended in. And what you do, I mean, you could actually use this like right away, but I love to have it sitting for about 24 hours. Let me go ahead. There is a couple, couple more lumps in here. I like to have it sitting for about 24 hours to really infuse into the into the salts. You can see that. So once I've finished this, it smells so good. I'd love to know if you if you make this. Just keep stirring until I've got some joy riders outside. So you just keep stirring until you get it well blended. And then all you do now is you get a container. Let me find my container. This is one that I made before. So what I'm going to do is just simply take this container and I'm going to fill it with the, with the bath salts. And that is how you store it. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside because I want to show you how to make one more item. And this is the um, sugar scrub. So you're going to get yourself some sugar, brown sugar. I like to use turbinado sugar. This is the one I, I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple, a couple tablespoons of this. And let me set it up here. 
going to use just a couple tablespoons just so I could show you how easy it is to mix. So I've got four tablespoons in here. All right, so I've got four tablespoons of brown sugar. And all I need now, a couple drops of the blend. So I'm going to add in about six drops of this blend. Because like I said, this is pure essential oils. So it's very concentrated. So right here I have four tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to add in six drops of the essential oil. This is the blend that we just made. Right? And then I'm going to add in some olive oil. You only need maybe um, a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just going to wing it because I've made this quite a bit. So add in some olive oil. And then all I'm going to do now, let's set that to the side. All I'm going to do now is simply just stir this up, blend it really well. You can see how, how it's all coming together. I wish we could smell. I wish you could smell this. It's just so good. Make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Let me go ahead and see if I can show you to the camera. Looks good enough to eat, but you don't want to be eating this. So this is a... Uh, the sugar scrub. You can add a little bit more oil if you want it to have a little bit more oil to it, but just something really simple. And I only use about six drops of the blend and maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. You, If you want to add more, you certainly can. So that's a really easy sugar scrub that you can make with the same blend that I just created. Okay. And then again, you just simply find just get yourself a glass jar like this, just something, you know, maybe you've recycled a glass jar and you can store your sugar scrub in there. And I'll show you some that I've made before and I have it saved in a mason jar. All right. So really, really easy. So, so far we've made the essential oil blend the, with the pure essential oils. We've made, all right, let me show you everything. We've made the essential oil blend with the, you know, the like show your skin some love. Then we've made the the roll on that you can use on your face. And this has the carrier oil in it. This is the pure essential oil. This is a, a little bit of the essential oil blend with the carrier oil in here. And then we also made, let me grab it set it on the ground. We also made some bath salts with that same blend and now we've also made some sugar scrub using that same blend. Okay. I want to show you one more thing that you can do with this blend. Let me set that to the side. And that is making your own lotion. If you have a favorite lotion, let me set that over there. If you have a favorite lotion that you like to use on a regular basis, then stick with that one. And all you do to add the essential oil blend to it, you simply get yourself a container. I would suggest um, if you're, let me open this one up. This is a lotion. If your lotion has a tube that let me see if you can see that see that hole if your lotion has a tube large like that then you can simply just take the dropper and you can add, add in the essential oils that way put the cap back on and give it a couple really good shakes to mix it in if it does if your lotion doesn't have that 
you can simply squeeze out your lotion into a glass jar and then add in the uh, essential oil blend into that and give it a really good shake. You don't need to add a carrier oil when you put it into your lotion because your lotion is going to be the carrier oil. Hope that makes sense. All right, so because mine is, let's see, I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it into this jar so I can show you how easy it is to make. Once you have that one blend made, you can do so much with it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to squeeze the lotion from, from here into, into this glass jar. And it's going to be really easy for you to take out to put on your skin. All right. Let me see if I can get the rest of it out. All right, so there is the lotion. Let me set that there for a minute. So all I'm gonna do now, I think you can see the, I'm gonna take the essential oil blender that I've made. Remember this is the Show Your Skin Some Love essential oil blend. And all I'm gonna do, there, there's eight ounces of lotion in here. So for every ounce, I'm going to add about 10 drops of, of, the, of the blend. So because this is eight ounces, then I'm going to need for, for um, 10 drops per ounce. So that's about 80 drops. So 80 drops is pretty much going to be the full, uh, the full dropper. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Here I have just go ahead and work with that right now. And I'm going to simply take this and I'm going to put it into you can see it's let me bring it around so you can see the essential oils in there. All right, so there's the blend. And all I'm going to do from here is put the cap on. Let me put the cap back on the oil blend as well. And you see we still have a little bit of that blend left. So all I'm gonna do now is just take this and just shake it up really, really well and get that mixed in. And overnight, I mean, you can see it's, I've just shaken it up, but overnight then the, the lotion will just kind of slide down. But you can see I've mixed in the blend in there. Right? So just give it a just give it a good shake and mix that in. And then you can simply use your lotion like you usually do. Just scoop some out and massage over your entire body. And you will get the benefit of the essential oils in there as well. So Really, really easy. The hardest part is going to be making your essential oil blend, your uh, show your show your skin some love essential oil blend. And again, the ingredients are sandalwood, lavender, lilac, helichrysum, chamomile, rose hip seed, geranium rose, rose, vanilla myrrh and the carrier uh, this is pure in the carrier when we made the perfume is calendula infused oil which is this so that's the calendula infused oil and to make the um to make this we added about 10 drops of the pure essential oil so we have the pure essential oil. We added about 10 drops in here, and then we filled it up with the, the rest of the way with the calendula infused oil. So now we have a roller that we can use on, on the face or any part of the skin. And this has ro um, rose quartz chip stones in there. 
So if you want to put some some crystals in there, rose quartz, which is you know said to be the stone of love, you can put some in there. And then we also made some bath salts with Epsom salts, about a cup of Epsom salts, half a cup of pink Himalayan salt, uh, two tablespoons of avocado oil, and then about 20 drops, about 20 drops of the essential oil. You can add more, you can add, le add less. Then I also added in some, some dried calendula flowers, as well as some, let me move that, as well as some dried rose petals. Okay. So you, that's what you can see in here. Now, one of the things I'm going to do as well, add in some rose quartz strip stones. And I'll show you how to use this. Um, I'm going to show you how to use this. So I'm going to add in a few rose quartz chip stones into that. When you're using it, if you don't, because the, because there are flowers, dried flowers in here, you don't want it to clog your tub. So one of the things that you can do is get yourself a little drawstring bag like this and fill that up and toss it into your tub um, when you're going to take your soak. And that way you don't have to worry about collecting any of the dried you know, petals at the end. It'll just be collected in this bag. Otherwise, then you're going to have some cleanup to do after, uh, after your bath soak. Okay, so we made that bath soak or the bath salts. And then we also made a sugar scrub with turbinado sugar. And uh, um, this is about, what, four tablespoons of brown sugar. And uh, I think I added about eight drops of the pure essential oil. And then we also added in about a tablespoon of the olive oil. And you can kind of play around with the ingredients and, um, and the amounts and see what you want. And the last thing we made with that same um, blend is you just simply added it into your lotion. All right. So whatever lotion you have, or you can get some unscented lotion and then add this blend to it. And that way, when you massage your whole body with the lotion, you're getting all of the benefits of the essential oils. So I hope that was helpful. We made, um, looks like four, four different items using just this one blend. And uh, I believe at the bottom of, um, at the bottom of this, I did post the ingredients for all of the essential oils. You can get these essential oils online. I mean, you can go to Amazon, you can go to um, Mountain Rose Herbs, and they also sell essential oils, and you can find those yourself. So if you did, weren't here for the full live, this is going to be recorded. And this particular blend that we made today is the Show Your Skin Some Love Essential Oil Blend. And I hope you enjoy creating it. And I would love to know whether you um, create some of the products as well. I, I like to show one item and then show you different ways on how you can use that item. Okay. So this is the Show Yourself Some Love Essential Oil Blend. And we made the, um, the roll-on for your face or any other part of your body. We made some bath salts. We made some um, sugar scrub as well as added it into our body lotion. All right, so thank you all for being here. Um, I will see you all on Tuesday for um, tea time. I I'm not sure what time I'm going to post it, but it typically is around two o'clock. Then Wednesday, I will be back for the um, Wisdom Wednesday. And then of course, next Friday, I will share with you another essential oil blend. And if there's one that you particularly want to know about, then just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for being here. For those of you who popped in, I appreciate your presence. I appreciate your time. And I will see you again real soon.